Welcome listeners to the We On podcast. Okay, let's jump right in. We're talking about really pushing the limits of flight today. I mean, imagine aircraft blurring the line, almost reaching space itself, but taking off. Well, like a normal plane. Exactly. And there's something specific happening right now that does just that. It's a vehicle called Aurora. Aurora. Okay. And what's so special about it? Well, it's main thing. It's designed to cross the Carmen line. Ah, the Carmen line. Remind us that's the sort of uh, official edge of space, right? That's it. About 100 kilometers up, give or take. Roughly 328,000 feet. Mm. You get above that, and you're not really flying through atmosphere anymore. So it becomes what? A space plane? Essentially, yes. Yeah. A space plane. But the really intriguing part. Go on. It takes off from a standard runway. Just rolls out and goes. No rockets, no special launch facility. Nope. That's the design. It's being built by Don Aerospace down in New Zealand. And get this, they say it's already available for purchase. Wow. Okay. And it must be incredibly fast to get that high. Oh, absolutely. They've already hit Mach 1.1 will 2 in tests. But the goal, the big target, is Mach 3.5. Mach 3.5, hold on. That's no. a, uh, over 4,300 kilometers an hour. Yep, or about 2,685 miles per hour. Seriously fast. That's faster than the SR-71 Blackbird's record, isn't it? The old spy plane. It is. The Blackbird hit, what, just under 2,200 miles per hour back in 76? So, yeah, this aims higher. To do that from a runway, the engineering must be pretty advanced. I'll definitely suggest some next-level propulsion. And because of those speeds and altitude... You can't be piloted by a person. Right. It's a drone. Remotely controlled, you can picture it, thin body, small delta wing, built for speed. Makes sense. So what would you actually use it for? Well, the defense sector is a big potential user. Think surveillance. Very high, very fast surveillance. Got it. So quick look, high up, then back down. Precisely. So just to recap the key things here, we're looking at potentially the fastest, highest flying aircraft mm -hmm. that operates more like a plane than a rocket, reaching the edge of space from just a normal airport. That's the core idea. It really could change how we think about accessing space, or at least near space. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? What else becomes possible of getting to the edge of space is, you know, almost routine, like catching a flight. It's a fascinating thought. Opens yeah. up a lot of possibilities. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.